this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. <clears throat> yeah, I know I've been gone, but you can look behind me and see why. My mother of pearl tiles. Anyway, I'm on a project mode, so I'll be on and off, but I'm going to try to get a lot done tonight. Listen, one of the things that came to my mind <clears throat> when I was seeking the Lord about what needed to be discussed is the curing process. Sometimes God chooses what I'm already into in order to use an analogy. Some of you have felt like you were in limbo for months, weeks, years, some of you even decades. And you get the impression that God doesn't really have much time to worry about you and your little problems. Almost like your little things are too insignificant to him. Well, number one, that's a lie from the pit. That's not true. Listen, some things take time. That is, you know what? When we're in an instant society, we shove things in a microwave. It's a microwave lifestyle. We, we want instant coffee. We want instant uh, uh, TV dinners. We want instant this, instant that. Everything but instant sex. Anyway, <clears throat> and we want to get there in an instant, but yeah, you know what I'm talking about. But my, I'm being silly. But my point is, because we want everything so instant, the problem is we have a real issue with waiting. We have an issue with biding our time. And let me share something with you. As much of a hurry I was in to see this job be finished and done, I had to take my time. I had to bead each tile and then wait a minute for them not to be dripping wet before I placed it onto the wall. Then I had to stand there and wait a few minutes to make sure it wasn't going to shift and slide on me. Then, the hard part, I had to wait till the next day. Now, it takes 24 to 72 hours to cure. And when it takes our lives, processes, and our lives to cure, it drives us up the wall. Don't tell me you got to take me through a five-year process because I have a little, a little lightweight attitude about that over there. But God knows what he's doing. He knows which ones of us can take less than others. And those of us who can take less, it's going to take longer because God wants us tough. Now, when I took my knife and I tried to pick one of those shells off the wall to give it a test, it wasn't going anywhere. And I pulled. It wasn't going anywhere at all. So when God gets you tough, when he strengthens you, and his bond with you is solidified and and perfect, maybe not perfect, but let's say the bond is way stronger than it was when you first began. Then when you go through the vicissitudes of life and Satan starts tearing at your behind and tries to pry you off of God, off of your faith, guess what? You ain't going nowhere. You're stuck, baby. You're locked in. Because God has solidified the bond through the process of life's vicissitudes, the pains, the hassles, the trials, the inconveniences, the fears, the frustrations, the setbacks. All of that strengthens the bond. Now, when you first get saved, yeah, you're saved, but you're still wet behind the ears. God can't put you anywhere. You slide right down. There's no bond. Anything can pull you off. Life, anything.
anything, any little irritant can pull you off, right? Or you can turn around and get tacky. And okay, you're starting to toughen up a little bit. Put you on there, somebody else can come peel you right off. You ain't staying nowhere. You got a good hold, but you're not locked in. You think you are because you're full of zeal. When I smell the glue that I put on those tiles, the smell is, is pungent, is strong. So because, that's going to sound cold, like teenagers, this is what we say about teenagers, you know, they think they're grown. Because you're starting to smell yourself, you think you're all that in a bag of chips in the Lord. You think you have arrived and you think your bond is solid. No, it isn't. You're tacky. You're not solid. When you get rock hard and solid, can nothing penetrate you. Nothing. Because you got the shield of faith up. You're locked in. You're totally protected. And you're protected by your own faith because you have lived enough to see how faithful God is. Now, when you don't know how faithful something is, you're not sure if you want to try things out. But when you start seeing how faithful he is in other people's lives and how faithful he was in your past and how he solved some problems that nobody could solve but him, it builds your faith. That's part of your curing process. So when life seems like it's got you hanging out on a limb and you're just dangling, going nowhere fast, just dangling, you're all right, you're safe. Because God is strengthening and solidifying your bond with him. The most important thing in life is to bond with him. Because once you bond with him, baby, no weapon formed against you will prosper. None. None. You're safe in the loving arms of your Father. God bless you as you pray for more patience during the waiting process while you're in the holding tank, feeling like your life is hanging by a thread in limbo. God bless you.